Begin by positioning the two chairs as close to one another as possible. Lock the rear casters on the recliner. Lock the wheel locks on the wheelchair. Move the front riggings out of the way. Position the bottom edge of the sling at the base of the resident's spine. Make sure the labels are upright and facing out. Lift up one of the resident's legs and put the thigh support under it. Make sure the fabric that is against the resident is smooth. Pull the thigh support until it reaches completely around the patient's thigh. Do the same for the other leg. Be sure that the sling is clear of the wheelchair's front corners. Prepare the lift for the move by opening the unit's legs to the maximum open position for stability. To open the legs, grab the steering handle with one hand and the shifter handle with the other hand. Push the shifter handle to your right to lift the locking pin from the closed nesting position on the base. Turn the handle clockwise until the locking pin drops into the open nesting position. When this happens, the legs are open and locked. Make sure that the locking pin is properly nested. Position the lift in front of the resident. We'll get your legs on this. Have the resident put their feet on the foot plate. Assist them if they need help. Move the lift in until the knee pad is resting against the resident's knees. Adjust the knee pad if necessary. With both hands, pull these adjustment pins out and hold them out. This allows you to position the knee pad to the height you want. When it's at the proper height, release the pins so they seat in the alignment holes. Make sure that they are both seated properly. Turn the control valve counterclockwise and the lift arms will lower. Pull the thigh supports forward and attach them to the forwardmost attachment points which are located above the knee pad. Make sure you attach each strap to the lift using the same color loop. Attach the top straps to the lift arms. Use the same color loop on both sides and choose the loop that most comfortably attaches without too much slack. This will make sure the resident stays comfortable and stable during the lifting process. Attach the strap around the lift arm from the outside. Make sure all loops rest flush against the attachment spindles and are clear of the attachment knobs. The resident's arms should be outside the sling. Instruct the resident to hold onto the hand grips on both sides of the lift and lean back into the sling. Turn the control valve clockwise. Use the handle to give the lift a few pumps. This will elevate the lift arm slightly and provide a bit of tension to the sling. Before going any further, Double check the attachment points to make sure they're properly secured. Raise the resident above the surface of the wheelchair just high enough so they clear the surface. Raising them any higher with this type of sling can result in injury. Their weight is now fully supported by the lift. Using the push handle to navigate, slowly move the lift away from the wheelchair and toward the recliner. Position the resident over the recliner. Release the pressure in the pump by turning the control valve counterclockwise. The lifting arms will lower. Unhook the sling from all four attachment points. Lift the resident's legs and pull the lift away from the resident. Very comfortable here. And remove the sling from around their torso.